Cedartown, Georgia, and operations being completely abandoned there in Cedartown. Eventually, the museum acquired the table and installed it here in the early 1980s. Guess you want to know about that steam locomotive. Locomotive 630, built in 1904 by the American Locomotive Company at its Richmond Works. It is a KS1 consolidation, and the wheel arrangement is that of a 280. Now, 280s were pretty common wheel arrangements on a locomotive, so anytime you read about the description of a locomotive, by the way, I'll stop. Watch the end drop. Did you see it? If you blinked, you missed it. When it dropped down, that was our indicator that the locomotive is, in fact, balanced on the table. We're able to be able to do what we need to do, and that is what? Turn. Now, 280 is a pretty common wheel arrangement. 440 was called the American Standard, basically. But anytime you see numbers, it could be 484, all right? 280, any of those numbers are representative of the wheel arrangement. You count wheel arrangement based upon wheel sets, two or more things that look alike. Let's start at the front of this locomotive. Here is the lead wheels here. That's the set of two. That's two. Walk back, start counting driving wheels, all right? So two. Four and four on the other side, that's eight and zero underneath the cab. The other operational steam locomotive we have here in our fleet, the 4501, is a 282. Now, so many hundreds and thousands of steam locomotives, just as soon as the latest technology of the diesel locomotive was introduced, especially the larger railroads were buying up those diesels and phasing out those steams, and they were either scrapped or sold secondhand sold second hand or perhaps someone had the foresight to see preservation and the importance of preservation but most steam locomotives across the United States were in fact scrapped. Very few survived. This locomotive survived because it was sold second hand to the East Tennessee and West North Carolina. Now, Southern comes along in the 60s, they figure out that the steam excursion programs become popular again. They need steam locomotives to go back to that same railroad and offer up two newer RS3 diesel locomotives, which, by the way, one of those, ironically, is over there in the 109. And they get this locomotive and 722 back. And it survives the Scrapper's Torch. This locomotive operated in portions of what is now owned and operated by the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad upon the old Murphy Branch, Dilford, Old Bryson City, Murphy, Asheville. It is entire, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a hand for our engineer and fireman here in the city. 